Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. It's actually Moose's birthday today, so I'm taking him to Sedona. Where does he come here? He's wearing the cutest little bandana. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> it's his second birthday, so I'm gonna take him to Sedona to celebrate. Just on a little trail, I don't wanna do anything super crazy. I wanna do a new trail that I've never done before. It's just supposed to be like short, flat, nothing crazy. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and just have a little day celebrating Moose and his second birthday. I cannot believe he's two years old. <laughs> Once we're back, I think I'm gonna go to Sprinkles to get him a cupcake because they sell dog cupcakes there. So I'm gonna get him a cupcake to celebrate and take his picture and maybe go to PetSmart and pick up <laughs> A toy or two i am gonna get going because i need to pick up coffee and i don't know they just opened up a better buzz coffee here and it is literally the line is insane it's like all the way out on the street but it looks so cute and i'm so excited i haven't had it in so long one vanilla latte yes please oh. There you go. Do you want your straws and napkins? I got my coffee. They actually gave it to me iced. I asked for it hot, but this was probably the better decision anyway. I wanted the honey latte, but they were out. So I just got the vanilla. made it i ended up getting a pass to what is this called crescent moon ranch it, i saw it on tiktok i've never been here before it's kind of like before you get to where all the touristy stuff is in sedona but it's super super cute it was only 12 dollars to get in and there's supposed to be like a trail by a creek he is so ready he was the best boy in the car he is always the best boy he literally just sits there and stares out the window like a little human. Anyways, I'm so happy we are here and I'm excited to just be outside in the sun. Let's go. He was so excited. Do you have to potty? I'm pretty sure that's cathedral. So, so pretty. It is such a nice day out. Yeah, let's go find the water. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> he is literally so happy. He's overstimulated. I literally just asked a girl to take my picture with Moose. He would not sit still. Like, literally, he is the worst for pictures. The moment I pull out the camera, he forgets how to sit. And he is just overstimulated. There was a little dog, but he loves little dogs. I feel like he thinks they're toys. Like, he gets crazy for little dogs. He just wants to play with them. I'm just trying to walk as much as we can so he can get tired <laughs> by the time we get home. My camera is about to die, but I just came to Whole Foods to get a quick little lunch before I head back home. I grabbed a chicken caprice little sandwich, some siete spicy chips, and a poppy, of course, and a water because I ran out of the water that I had brought, so I'm 
I'm gonna chug this and just make my way back home because it's getting a little bit late and I have things that I still need to do once I get home but I'll continue to vlog once I've charged my camera it was a fun little trip honestly hotter than I expected it to be but I'd rather it be hot than cold moose is very tired did you have a fun birthday did you like Sedona <laughs> he got so muddy he jumped into the creek not fully but he got super muddy so his paws are done and he will be getting a bath I am back home now and I showered and I changed into something a lot more comfy because I'm heading out again. I'm going to pick up Moose's cupcake from Sprinkles. I also got myself one. They had this really interesting flavor that honestly sounded so good. So I'm going to go pick that up and then I might stop at either PetSmart or Target. I need to get Moose something like a little toy or something. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. I'm home. Look, mommy got you another surprise. Okay, I am literally dead. I thought the cupcake that I ordered was going to be like a normal full-size cupcake, right? For boost. <laughs> it's so tiny. I even got candles too. I think the flavor is raspberry French toast, which is honestly kind of crazy. Sounds crazy, but I love anything raspberry. So, Moose, do you want your cupcake? Can you sit? You have to sit. Good boy. So that was a fail. The candle literally doesn't go inside because the frosting is so hard. So I'm just going to give it to him. I'm going to try the cupcake. It is so cute. Oh, I can tell it has raspberry inside. The only thing is I feel like the frosting part is just like half the cupcake but mm, if you like frosting I am just making a mess it has like filling raspberry filling mmm oh yeah this is like real raspberry it has like the sourness of real raspberries which i love i hate when it's like super super sweet because i feel like raspberries are not that sweet normally or fresh this is so good i'm gonna have to like cut it in half he is actually so tired as soon as we got here he just ate and passed out on my bed i'm honestly so tired i'm gonna pass out too but i recently got these two picture frames and I'm gonna put them here just because this honestly I don't even know why I put it there I just didn't want the wall to be empty but it's pretty small compared to how big the wall is and these are pretty big I just don't know if I could hang them up myself or if I have to because they're pretty heavy I think I might have to use like proper tools to hang them up he left the little candy you didn't like the candy here no, okay. He did not like the little candy that was on the cupcake. I just don't really know what the vibe is going to be. I feel like I kind of have to work around my couch. and My couch is like a very light gray color. But I don't know. I don't know where I was going with it. I'm just so tired. I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. <laughs> Somebody's tired. So as you guys know, I think I've mentioned it on here, I'm going to be moving soon. So I have been addicted to looking at virtual tours on apartments.com and I have a list going of all the ones that I actually want to tour in person. I've only toured one, which I really do like, but I'm still very conflicted on if I should focus more on location or the aesthetic of the apartment. I feel like I've 
realized living here where I'm at now, I love the aesthetic of this apartment, but the location is just not for me. Like I don't really do anything in this area. The whole point of this is I'm really trying to figure out if I should focus more on location or the actual aesthetic of the apartment. What do you guys think is more important? I feel like I've always gone more for the aesthetic because I just feel like I spend a lot of time at home so I really have to like where I live. I had a hard time trying to find one that has both. So, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just rambling. I, I think I'm going to end off the vlog here because it's getting late and I'll probably just continue looking at virtual tours. I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm really excited to film it. Thanks for watching. Bye.